Dodds. Just of all our discussions with all the various parties that she has to speak to, uh, the Secretary of State will be aware of the uh, perverse decision that was made last night by the Parades Commission, which rewarded uh, bad behaviour and has punished good behaviour in relation to parading. What is she going to do about it? Um, I am working closely with the Chief Constable and the Justice Minister in the preparations that they will be making to do everything they can to secure a peaceful 12th of July. I believe that it is important for all of us, both in this House and the Northern Ireland political parties, to call on all concerned to work for a peaceful 12th of July. It would be hugely damaging to Northern Ireland if the good news from the G8 were blighted by scenes of, of rioting on the streets of North Belfast. Mr Nigel Dodds. We want to see that peaceful situation continue and we don't want to see any trouble on our streets. Does she accept that the Parades Commission has made the situation immensely worse, has yeah. created severe tensions, yeah, yeah. because the Republicans who brought machine guns out and attacked the police last year and shot at them, whilst loyalists and unions behaved impeccably, Republicans have been rewarded, right. unionists have been punished. How on earth does she expect people to react in that situation? Isn't it time for this Parades Commission to go to be replaced by something more sensible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I know that the uh, Honourable Member for North Belfast has strong views on these matters, and the fact that these events relate directly to his constituency give him an important say in this. Um, I recognise the anger in parts of the loyalist community about this decision, but it is vital that people recognise the Parades Commission are the lawfully constituted authority. Respect for the rule of law is crucial. It would be immensely damaging to Northern Ireland if we had a violent 12th of July. So whatever people think of the Parades Commission determination, I hope they will listen to the statement made by all five party leaders yesterday on the importance of the rule of law and a peaceful 12th of July and complying with the Parades Commission determination.